Everybody, my name is Todd, and I'm going to show you how to annotate wireframes using OmniGraffle. So here I have a design that I got from the design, uh, the designer on our team, and the goal of this is to create groups and filters so that our users can uh, filter YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, and Instagram and Snapchat data uh, that we get through the API. Um, so to do that, what I do is start chopping up this um, wireframe design, whatever you want to call it. And to do that, we're going to take this screenshot of, let's see, down here. This is how we create a group, how they build the list. We'll just take some screenshots and designers uh, have an interesting way of explaining things. Okay, now I'm going to flip to OmniGraffle and I'm going to recreate the page uh, from the wireframe. Label this screenshots. Call this the summary page. Now I'm going to create another layer. So to do that, I right click on the canvas and I click new layer. And while, while we're at it, I'm going to create a shared layer. So what the shared layer does is get, it gets copied on every single page if, as we build out. So what I like to do is flip to the templates and there's something I believe it comes with OmniGraffle is the Konegi wireframes and I use these little annotation bubbles. So I'm going to use the uh, gray ones because they're more contrast against the orange. And we're going to make one. Okay. And what I'm doing is really just making different modules for each of these. So one is this top section, two is this section over here, three will be this, basically everything that has an orange title uh, is going to be a new component. So by that, uh, I mean if you're part developer, um, Basically, each one of these little modules is going to be its own HTML file that will get imported into a bigger template for the summary view.
there's no perfect art and science. This might change as I start to go through it a little bit more, but here is a general idea. And then what I do next is just make the legend. So I usually start by doing something like this, making a box, making some text. Uh, we'll call this the summary view. Take off the outline and let's modify the text a little bit. Uh, and let's make it big. Okay. Let's make another one. I'll make this like 18, 16. And then we'll add these uh, other parts of the legend. Okay, so we'll call this Insights. And the idea here is to connect what the front end is going to look like with the back end, which will be the requirements, which I'll show you at another time. Then you can select them both and there's a little trick if you click the hold the option button and then click and drag you can copy everything that's highlighted. And this doesn't have to be perfect but you get the idea so let's see. If one is the insights. Let's move this stuff down. Let's call this insight headline. Uh, there's actually a couple things going on we could do. One, one, which is the timestamp. Make that one, two. Uh, make this one, three. That's it for that one. Uh, so the next is the social video summary. So what do we have going on here? We have views for yesterday, the last seven days. Let me just do one for that. <clears throat> And we have all these charts. We'll come back to that later.
Okay, if you're a little obsessive, you might want to highlight all the circles. You can right click and click align left. You can do the same thing with this. Okay, so this is the social video summary. Views data and this is actually kind of the same. Just stay open now. Call that the thumbnail line graph. Two four is the use bar chart. Two five is reactions and likes. So something we can do, like I said before, if we duplicate this. You'll see this shared layer if I edit it here. So if I delete that, it's deleted. If I undo it, go back to the summary, it's back. And that's how you annotate wireframes using OmniGraffle.